Hello. Hello. Are you a good boy? Are you a good boy? Tell me again. Morning, sunshine. <laughs> Hello. Did you have a good night? No. No. <laughs> right. Matthew, he's three, nearly four. He's got a muscle condition called myotubular myopathy. It's a rare genetic muscle condition that means his muscles uh, didn't develop properly as they should. <laughs> Is that unfair to take you? In Matthew's case, it causes him difficulties with his breathing. He needs a ventilator 24-7, which is via a tube in his neck. Um, so that is Matthew's lifeline. Where's Matthew gone? There he is. Go see what your sister's up to. For 10 years, the Myotubular Trust has funded research across the world, trying to find a cure for the condition. Extremely rare diseases often miss out on funding. The trust strategy, however, has been to invest in dedicated research. When somebody suggested there might be a cure, we thought dreamland, pie in the sky. But now things have changed and it gives us so much more hope. The trust's fundraising has led to a number of key breakthroughs. In France alone, early backing of a pioneering scientist has led to some astonishing results. The first grant that I received from a YouTube Trust was really helping us to start with the project. It was like opening a door. With this money, we were able to establish the proof of concept that gene therapy is working for YouTube myopathy. This has lights at the microscope. Using the trust funding, Anna Bujbello developed a gene replacement therapy which can be injected directly into muscle. A vector carries a copy of a normal gene into defective muscle cells. This is what we are going to use or what we have used uh, to uh, inject uh, dogs. In collaboration with scientists at the University of Washington, a colony of dogs are being treated. Like humans, Labradors can also be born with myotubular myopathy. I mean, this, is, this was like a miracle. Couldn't believe it when we saw it. Here you can see an untreated dog. At the age of four months, the dog is unable to stand. So now you can see another dog that was treated at two months of age. You can see the effect of this treatment in this animal. As you can see, the dog runs, plays, and behaves like, like a, a normal dog. The Trust's early funding of Anna's work provided the evidence the biotech industry needed to invest, and now clinical trials are to follow. There is no reason to believe that what we are seeing in some of these dogs is going to be completely out of proportion of what we might be seeing in people. It may take a little time to completely replicate what we are finding in the dogs. Uh, but at the same time, this will be something that may be transformative for mitobular myopathy. Uh, I think this is now a, a, a tangible reality. And yet, despite this particular breakthrough, it's vital scientists continue to pursue other avenues of research. Mitobular myopathy is clearly a complex condition and it will likely require a number of treatments so that we will be able to overcome the problem of the condition both in very young children but also in people who have had their condition for many years. Charlotte! <laughs> so despite the gene therapy work and the excitement that this is generating, it is very likely that the path for identifying a treatment that works for everybody with mitobular myopathy will require more work. <laughs> the Myotubular Trust's goal is to continue to fund research until there is a treatment for everyone with the condition. Once we didn't dare think about what would happen in the future, but now we have the hope and we can start thinking about what Matthew's life might be like. Mind blowing to think about it. <laughs> it <laughs> Just didn't think about it. I can't. I can't even put into words what what Matthew might achieve if we found a cure. <laughs>